This training is confidentiality. It's a very crucial part of a social service agency. It uh, doesn't matter if you're small. doesn't matter if you're large. Uh, we come in contact with client files on a daily basis, and that information is confidential as the client has a personal right uh, to have not have his information shared, and you have an obligation to not share it. Course objectives are first to understand what confidentiality means. Uh, number two, be able to explain how to maintain client slash resident information. Number three, have a basic understanding of the legal mandate behind confidentiality. Number four is to have a basic understanding of client slash resident personal rights as it pertains to confidentiality. So just for clarification purposes, just want to discuss two terms really quick that are uh, we use throughout the, this training. Uh, we One of the terms we use is client, um, and then the other one is resident. Uh, typically, you'll see the term client is used for adult residential facilities and group homes. Um, and then as it relates to RCFE, elderly facilities, uh, the term that is used is resident. Confidentiality in a social service agency is related to all staff keeping information about clients private. So this means that you're not sharing uh, information in regards to the client at any point. Now, keep in mind, there are exceptions to that rule, and we'll address those later on throughout the course. When a client is comfortable that direct care staff respects their confidentiality, a lot of times they're more willing to share information uh, with, the cl with the staff uh, in order to assist them in providing a better service to the client. So keep in mind that confidentiality goes beyond me just protecting client information. It could also assist during the treatment process as well. So I want to talk about what is client confidentiality. I know a lot of times um, there's some gray areas in there or some things may be unclear. Uh, so for this part, I want to be more precise in telling you what client confidentiality is so um, you have a clear understanding. Client confidentiality in a residential licensed facility is related to direct care staff, administrators, supervisors, lead staff, whatever you call them at your agency, uh, protecting sensitive information about the client. Um, there's no clear way we can put that or address that. You need to protect client sensitive information. And so to give you more information on confidentiality and what it means, it means keeping the information between you and the client um, and not discussing information outside of the agency uh, with anyone. And we'll talk about uh, the discussion of who can have access to this confidential information as well. So client information is protected information and it should only be seen by those staff who have a need to know. So it may be 20 different staff members that work for the same agency, but not all those staff have a need to know. So you want to keep that in mind when it comes to confidential information and whom needs to see that information. So client confidentiality requires that the client information not be discussed with anyone in the agencies that do not have a need to know. So you're keeping this information to yourself or within your work group uh, of those individuals that have a need to know. Outside of that, you still cannot share that information. Let me give you an example. So you're reviewing John's behavioral history at home A. You have two, two homes. Uh, home B staff, they don't work with John. They have nothing to do with John. Do they need to know information about John? The answer would be no. Uh, first of all, this is confidential information, and I know it's the same agency, but technically 
this information is need to know basis. So every agency is different, um, but there should be some type of protocol in place uh, to maintaining confidentiality. So on the next slide, I'm going to give you some examples of how you um, will maintain confidentiality or how you can maintain confidentiality. Uh, you may already have this in place. If not, uh, you do need to come up with some type of policy uh, to ensure that you're maintaining confidentiality for all clients. So one of the ways is locking and securing files. What does that look like? Uh, it's as simple as you have a file cabinet that has a lock and a key. Typically, it goes in an office. Uh, the next one is medical details are not discussed outside of the agency. And it, once again, it's a need to know basis. Uh, and then the last one is information is not discussed without client or authorized permission. Thank you for joining us here at SoCal Training Team. Make sure you like, subscribe, and share this video, and we will see you at the next training.